Hello, and today Shannon's joining me. I am. Yeah, we're gonna do one grown for years, never tried. People ask about it. Yeah. So I've never tried a pubescence. A pubescent, well, that's the species that it is. Mm -hmm. It's the Rocoto red, or in Mexico, I think they call them manzano, which means apple, because they look like apples. Yeah, they do. Yeah, pubescent variety, which means they've got furry stems, furry, hairy. I think pubescent actually means hairy. Okay. Okay. So it's, it, they're originally from South America, Central America. They love the cold. They really, because they've grown at high altitudes in yeah. South America. So they're one that really, really likes the cool. Which is probably why I've had having troubles growing them over here. Yeah. Because it's quite warm here in Oz. This is actually but the first season that we have. Actually. Good looking plants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of pods. These pods are about three or so centimetres deep. And about five wide so they can get quite big they actually look a bit like really an apple like yeah yeah the seeds this sets them apart from other chilies yeah the seeds in them are black very thick wall too sort of like bell when i thought it i thought oh they must be bad seeds but when you cut one open before yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah no there's yellow ones orange ones red ones i think they're called the lakoto in bolivia Okay. And you can get them in different colours. We have the red and I think the orange going yeah. at the moment. They also have a different kind of burn. Okay. Yeah, I got the the science from them. And a lot of chilies have a majority of capsaicin in them. These contain more dihydrocapsaicin than capsaicin. So they will have a different so burn. So they'll have a different burn than usual. And yet people say that it's sort of a longer, deeper burn. So I'm so going to be see. scared or? I don't know. <laughs> it's just going to be interesting trying one. Well, you never know what you're up for. So, here we go. <clears throat> really firm. And the Ricotta oh, Red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thick. Thick. <gasps> Cheers. Cheers. Well, I'm going to eat it like an apple. Round and round and... Mm. God, they're juicy. Mm. It's like running down here. So much juice. Oh, they even sprinkle when I chew them. Yum. How good is that? There's lots of them. Look, capsaicin, but. Oh. Mm. <coughs> I like them. Very, very crunchy. Very, very juicy. And here comes the heat. Woo. Straight back of my throat. Taste. Slight beanish. Mm, I was just going, I don't know, not like a lot of beanish, but just very fresh and juicy. Mm. It's not particularly oh. sweet. All over burn. Yeah. Back it's of the throat, building. whole mouth, and all over burn. Yeah. Mm. Which is unusual, it didn't just hit and go bang in the back of the throat and move forward, it just hit yeah. everywhere. <laughs> Well, first I thought, oh, I'm not going to burn, but then it came. Yeah, and you can see it's a different, a different yeah, kind of burn. It is. It's sort of more deeper and all over, and it's building. And I'm surprised how juicy they are. I've never had a pot that is like, my hand is completely covered in rocoto juice. And thick, and there's a lot of them. See, yeah. I had troubles actually eating it because there was that much of it. <gasps> really thick. Really thick. And I like them. Mm -hmm. I like that burn. Yeah. It's 
like all around my mouth the now. whole yeah, yeah the whole mouth's going off back of the throat it's not rising too much it sort of hit went bang <gasps> and then rose a bit and now it's just cruising along yeah. at that level which will be upper mid heat yeah i'd say that but it's a very different kind of a burn Slightly, sort of, you know when the seven pod kicks right in? Yeah. And it's that really full kind of a burn that's coming through. Yeah. Lovely. And yeah, inside the gums, lips, mouth, back of the throat, tongue, all going at the same level. Well, they were worth waiting for these ones. Definitely. So good. Salad. They scream Ugh, salad. Yeah, they do. All being stuffed. You know what I, yeah, stuff too, but I'm thinking if you make, you know, a slice of bread with cheese on it and then slice this up, that would be really good on top of cheese. I don't because know everybody being able to have these because they do have a bit no, of oomph. No, yeah, they have a bit of oomph, but almost everybody. Yep. Then yeah. Black Thick seeds. Thick walled and black seeds. Cool. But the flavour, it was just like really, really, really juicy. Yeah. And it's sort of just this light bean like flavour that yeah. comes through. Mm. Really stuck nice, in my tooth. actually. Yeah. I can still taste that flavour, even yeah. though I'm burning. Whew. But it's a, excuse me, it's a nice burn. It is. It's not that stingy burn that you sometimes can get from no, some you, chilies, but that capsaicin, I don't know what you called it. Dihydro capsaicin. Dihydro capsaicin, mm. that's... It does have capsaicin as well. Yeah. That's why chilies burn different. There's about five or so classes of capsaicin. Well, there are a lot. Yeah. The major ones. And each chili has got different amounts of... <gasps> each one and a lot of the chinems have a real lot of capsaicin yeah. same uh, cap, yeah same as the anims which is that sharper yeah strong burn <gasps> whereas the dihydro when you've got more of that it's more of a deeper deeper like deeper the spreading. seven pot like the seven pot yeah. yeah yeah i haven't checked out the the science inside those but yeah. i'd say they'd have a good balance of capsaicin and dihydro <gasps> probably yeah. balanced out but it's funny yeah. how you, I'm getting to like recognize some flavors when I try chilies now. Yeah. I haven't been doing it as many years as you, but yeah. I can like get one and think, oh, that must be this one. And that's really exciting to get to that state where you can recognize some of the with different flavors, flavors and burns. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that's great. That is a really, really good chili. And if you're in the colder climates, Definitely one worth growing because yeah. they really, really like cooler weather to grow. I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> I'm just burning in my mouth. It's dropped a little bit. Yeah. It's still there and going along. Yeah, it's moved forward now, so my lips are. But okay, I chewed it like an apple, so I got a lot of yeah, juice on my lips. Got it still all over. It's a bit less on the back of the throat than everywhere else. You can feel it more on the lips now, but it was more all over at the start rather yeah. than starting at the back and moving forward. So there we have it, the Rokoto Red or cool. Manzano. Finally yeah. we get to try them. <laughs> yeah. Should we give it a few minutes? Yeah, we can. All right, we'll give it a few minutes, we'll pop back and see how the burn's going. All right, catches. Catches. Hello, and we're back five minutes later with the Rakoto Red or yeah. Manzano Red. I love them. I love that fresh, juicy bite I got off them and the heat was perfect. Different burn. Yep. So yeah. Thumbs up for it's me. It's still burning? Yeah. Where about still it's it's gone down a bit, but it's still like all around burn. Bit of Back of my throat, bit on the tongue, yeah. gums. So it does have a decent burn. It does. And I still have that flavour too. I can still too. taste them. So 
flavor to heat ratio. Yeah. Excellent. I would like compare it a bit. Now we always say, oh, it tastes like an apple. But do you know those apples that not are really sweet, but just very juicy? That's what I would compare them with. Yeah, they are the texture. Yeah. And that, yeah. And with a slight bean-like yeah. kind of flavor as well. So yeah, they're excellent. Really? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Dropped it. Dropping cups. So there we have it. An awesome chili. The Rokoto Red. All right, thanks baby for that. that You're was welcome. Excellent. That was a pleasure to actually do. Yeah, I've That's been great. looking forward to try the pubescents because I've never tried them before. So. Yeah, yeah. Finally, yeah. And you know now that the black seeds, they're not rotten. No. It's just, they have black seeds. Yeah. And that's how you can usually tell them. Okay. All right. Thanks everyone for watching and we'll catch us all later. Catches.